All right, everybody. Let's see how this works. If you are here, please type in the chat. Let me know. Uh, working through how this uh, new little streaming thing works. So we'll see how everything uh, turns out. All right, so today we are here to talk about the Dorset Naga. So Dorset Naga is uh, a Naga Morik, which is a Bangladeshi version of the ghost pepper that is um, that was grown out by a couple in the UK. And then they uh, isolated some various traits and created a new strain of the Naga Mork, which is called the Dorset Naga. So here's the whole pepper that we can see. And if we take a look inside, we can see we've got a nice amount of placental tissue. Um, definitely got some oil pooling. Very good looking pepper. Um, color wise, mostly a deep red. It's a little it's still ripening, so they've got some orange here at the bottom, but kind of got a flame color right now going on. Looks pretty cool. So with that, let's go ahead and open it all the way up and grab half. I'm not going to save seeds because we got plenty of peppers outside. We're going to eat it. We're going to talk about it. Talk about the flavor, talk about the heat, where it burns, all that stuff. And uh, that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and smell. I actually smell some fruit on this, which is going to be a pleasant surprise. Um, the last couple have just been hot with not much flavor. All right. So with that, the Dorset Naga, this is a review. We got red color, so hopefully it'll be fruity. And uh, there we go, down the hatch. Some sweetness initially led into a little bit of floral. The floral is dissipating. <clears throat> the heat's kind of sitting towards the back. No, uh, there it goes. Now it's rolling. This is really rolling thing. Maybe as the oil moves, but it's hitting the top of the roof, of my throat, the back of my throat. Really, like all the way back in the throat. <clears> throat> Tonsils. Mm. That tonsil burn is unpleasant. That's a hot pod. <clears throat> this ranges anywhere from 1 to 1. 1.5. Mm. As uncomfortable as the tonsil burn is. Very sharp. <clears throat> I'll put this just above a million. <clears throat> Not as hot as that chocolate board nine. <clears throat> it's very sharp. <clears throat> very sharp burn. Stinging. Maybe a little higher, 1 1.2, 1.3. <clears throat> Suddenly peaked, trailing off. More in the left tonsil now. Feels like uh, you have like strep throat when your tonsils are inflamed and you have that like salt water. 
to gargle. That's what that feels like. But a little stronger. Here comes the endorphins as it subsides. That's a hot pod. For me, that's up there. I mean, I put that at like a six or a seven. I'm glad I didn't do this outside today because it's like 90 some degrees out. Remember that on top of this. I'd be sweating buckets. Let me know in the, uh, the chat or in the comments. If you've had the Dorset Noggin before, what you thought it tasted like. I think that would make good sauce. Because it did have a little bit more flavor than some of the, like the Nagabon I did yesterday. Yeah, we got some other cool ones coming up. Not all super hots. We got some Jay's Peach Ghost Scorpion cho- Cross with Chocolate Ghosts. We got a yellow uh, pineapple habanero coming up. We got, um, let's see, Monster, <coughs> Monster Naga Ripening. We got a uh, Jimmy Nardello. Italian frying pepper. So, lots of see, lots of do. All right. So, <clears throat> the heat's pretty much subsided. Let me know if there's any peppers you want me to find. I'll try to do as I ramp up my tolerance towards the end of the season. Um, we got the Yellow Reaper, Chocolate Maruga, Yellow Dugla. The uh, seven Pajona all coming up. So, with that, 